When empaths are trying to be happy without narcissists' concern, expect these to happen. Because narcissists tend to be self-centered, empaths who are in relationships with them should exercise caution while expressing their contentments to avoid setting off the narcissist's selfish tendencies. The narcissist's view of themselves is influenced by how they perceive themselves in relation to others. This prevents the narcissist from experiencing genuine happiness. When they see someone who is truly happy, they experience a sense of crisis. As a result of this, they feel threatened and apprehensive, as if they are under threat. Narcissistic projection is the natural defense here, as they project their own wretched feelings onto others. Narcissists are relieved when their projections are absorbed by others. This gives them temporary alleviation. The narcissist gets brief comfort because now they measure up nicely, on equal footing, to say the least. So, if narcissists see you're doing good and happy, you may expect these things to happen. But first, I want to thank you for watching this video and ask you to help us get the word out about our channel by sending this video to your friends and family. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss any new videos uploaded on this channel. Let's continue. 1. Narcissists will take the credit for themselves. Have you ever noticed that the narcissist in your life boasts about you to others? To the point of boasting about your successes and taking all the credit for themselves. Those who are narcissistic believe they're entitled to everything in the world. Their sentiments of jealousy and resentment increase as they watch their empath partners enjoy the fruits of their hard work. There are those who believe that they are entitled to more of your accomplishment than you because they believe that they have higher self-esteem than you. Seeing their empath partner happy might have a devastating effect on their already low self-esteem. Taking delight in their partner's accomplishments is one of the methods they use to re-establish their sense of self-worth. Working with them, you can expect them to take credit for whatever accomplishments you have while working together. You are what you are because of me, or I am the one behind your achievements, are examples of what narcissists would do when confronted with another person's achievements. 2. Narcissists are prone to overreacting or overanalyzing events. Often, your narcissistic partner will falsely accuse you of cheating only because they see you smile on your own it's possible. Narcissists frequently make snap judgments about your contentment without giving it much thought. So they'll ruin your mood by reacting inappropriately and overthinking such simple thoughts. Narcissists frequently accuse others of being unfaithful, in addition to not providing appropriate emotional support. They'll spread rumors that you're having an affair with someone else because you're so happy and content without them. When the inevitable happens, they'll bring it up and blame you for the breakdown of the relationship. The narcissist's weak sense of self-worth and egocentric perspective are at the basis of this tried and true practice known as gaslighting. Free Narcissists will blame your good fortune for their own woes. Misery loves company is a well-known expression, even in a song lyric. Not just any kind of company, for those who find it difficult to love also frequently have a difficult time in their life. This is especially true for narcissists since they loathe the concept of being the lone person going through misery while their empath partner enjoys the best life without them. Having an independent, happy, and content partner is a sign that you're in a happy and healthy relationship. In contrast, an empath-narcissist relationship is different. In such a situation, Normalcy is not possible. Narcissists will think it's because you're trying to go your way that they had to go through all that. Narcissists care more about their own feelings and how they can improve their own mood than they do about other people's. If you allow them the chance to accomplish this, they will bring you down from wherever you're and make you feel guilty for expressing your freedom. 4. Narcissists will go to great lengths to get their hands on what they want, including cheating on you. When we talk about being happy, we usually mean that we are happy with the way our lives are going. In the simplest of tasks, such as aiding a friend or creating something beautiful, empaths can find enjoyment. However, narcissists can never agree with this. 
They won't allow their partner to be happy if it's not due to their involvement. This shows that the narcissist has lost control over the empath's sentiments and that the empath's happiness in their relationship is no longer exclusively dependent on the narcissist. Narcissists are always on the lookout for new ways to reap the rewards of other people's emotions. You'll have an advantage over them if you don't give them what they need. In the event that you accept their demand, they will have a starting point. On the other hand, if you're firm with yourself, they'll lose the fuel that keeps their fire blazing when they lose control of their relationship with you. This implies that they will need a second source of narcissistic supply. Be wary with this because they aren't going to completely leave you even after they have found another person. 5. Without reason, narcissists will just break off the relationship. Once they have exhausted all other alternatives, narcissists who see their empath partner stand firm will resort to this course of action. Of course, only after exhausting all other options to maintain you and extract an endless supply of narcissistic supplies from you would they resort to this. They won't do this if they haven't tried everything else. Ultimately, they have little choice but to break off the relationship when they notice that you've developed into a stronger and more determined empath. Empaths who have been too dependent on the narcissist may find it difficult to end the relationship, but doing so is necessary for their own well-being. In order to defend their idea that your contentment equals an act of hate directed toward them, Narcissists will use all kinds of nonsensical and delusional justifications. They may even go so far as to intentionally injure you in order to justify their actions as heroic or self-defense related. It is impossible for an empath to find true happiness if they remain in a relationship with a narcissist. Have you ever been the victim of any of these behaviors from your narcissistic partner? If so, Please don't hesitate to tell us your experiences in the comments section below. I hope this brief explanation can be useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.